What's happening gang? You know who it is, Paul here from Project Prepper. Today I'm doing a follow-up, or tonight I'm doing a follow-up video on a jewel review that I had done a little while back of two popular flashlights of the same class, the Phoenix E41 and the Through Night TN4A. What I'm going to show you in this video is basically a real-world demonstration of how these flashlights perform. And keeping in mind, these are of two different tints. Alright guys, so without further ado, let's get into it. Alright guys, starting off with the Phoenix E41. Keep in mind that this is a cool white tint. So I'm going to run through the modes and I'll let you know what the modes are and the output so let's get into it starting off this is at low which it is at 20 lumens run time of about 80 to 90 hours as you can see there I'm going to pull it up a little bit look down the track a little bit I've actually got a point of reference which is at the other end of this track here the track goes further down but there's a bit of a bend up the other end here it's about a hundred meters away is a gum tree in the middle as a point of reference so you'll see that as we're going up in the modes brightness settings all right I'll bring it back down for a second going up to the next mode that's your medium mode at 140 lumens, run time about 11 to 13 hours, depending on whether you're using a nickel metal hydride or alkaline. I'm going to come back up. I don't know if you can see that in the shot. You might be able to make out that gum tree, which is in the middle of the track. It's actually not in the middle of the track, it's on the side, like as I suggest, it's gone to the left of the track it's just a point of reference okay now I'm gonna step up to high that's your high mode at 400 lumens run time 2 hours and 30 minutes or 4 hours and 15 and finally your burst mode with using this Phoenix E41 you gotta press and hold in the button to activate the burst mode and that's at a thousand lumens they boast the uh, distance of the flashlights capability at 275 meters but for demonstration purposes I wanted to show you at about a hundred meters because it's more realistic you can really see at the other end there and you can see that gum tree for a better point of reference and it's pretty impressive to be able to have quite a bit of light emitting at that sort of distance All right guys, now we're moving on to the TN4A. Starting off with Firefly. Hopefully you guys can see this. It's quite low in its luminous setting. Firefly, 0.38 lumens for 80 days. All right, as you can see here, this is the low setting. 17 lumens for 93 hours. I'll just point it up down the track. And now coming back down. Now stepping up. Medium. 138 lumens for 14 hours. Don't know if you can see that gum tree in the middle there. I can see it from here. It might be a bit hard on the camera. Okay, coming back down. Coming up to high. Five hundred and seventy seven lumens for one hundred and fifty minutes. Now, finally, I'll step up to the turbo mode, 
which is double clicking really fast. That's turbo mode, 1050 lumens at 56 minutes run time. And lastly, by double clicking again, you'll enter the strobe mode. Strobe mode again is at 1050 lumens at 150 minutes run time. Just to give you guys a comparison with tint, as you see on the left is the uh, neutral white, the through night TN4A, and the right, which is the Phoenix E41, which is the cool white. A bit of an explanation of the two tints. With the neutral white, you can see a more real world perspective with, the, with your eyes of the natural coloring of the outdoor environment as opposed to the cool white, which gives off a slight gray, bluish tinge to the real world color spectrum of like the outdoor environment, which in this case is the trees that I'm pointing at. So for better reference, neutral white is probably more ideal in my opinion for more outdoor, rural, you know, countryside sort of scenarios. And I believe that cool white is more ideal for the urban environments, like, you know, if houses, cities, industrial areas, whatnot. So that's just a bit of a concept there and what to maybe look for in tents, possibly. And this is opinion of mine. I mean, everyone has their own opinion and what they like and dislike with colour tints. The neutral white is very appealing to the eye, very easy to look at. The cool white can have a bit of glare, good for tactical purposes too, especially have a strobe function. So that's just some considerations, this is my opinion, my thoughts, just some food for thought. Alrighty there partners, that concludes the field test demonstration of these two powerhouse flashlights of the same class through night TN4A versus the Phoenix E41 hope you've enjoyed the video if you haven't subscribed yet please hit that subscribe button like share comment thanks for watching